Okay, world history students, today we're looking at settlements of the Neolithic ages. So, society during the Neolithic age, the New Stone Age, had five key features. Number one, this is when agriculture was developed. This is when people started to farm. They did that by B, domesticating plants and animals. Domestication means that you use plants and animals, you tame them for your own use. They used advanced tools during this time period, remember advanced for their time, like the chisel, which you use to cut into rock, a hoe, which you use to move dirt around a field. They made potter's wheels so that they could make pottery to store their food in that they grew in their farms and a yoke. I'm not talking about an egg yoke. I'm talking about a piece of wood that you put over the shoulders of an animal to help control it and help it to move your tools for you. So it helps you to plow a field or something like that. They made pottery using their hands and using the potter's wheel and they developed weaving so they could make cloth much more efficiently. It was about 11,000 years ago that nomadic bands of people, nomads are people that move around from place to place to find their food, learned how to farm. So the process of farming worked like this. Once people started farming, they domesticated their plants and animals. They built permanent settlements because now they had fields to take care of. They had a place to keep their animals. Because they didn't have to move around all the time, they had time in their life to learn new skills. Having time to learn new things led to the specialization of jobs. So some people learned how to make pottery, some people learned how to weave, and so on and so forth. We are going to talk about four important Neolithic settlements. Stonehenge, which is in England, Chatelhuyuk, which is in Turkey, Jericho, which is in Israel or Palestine. It's, it's really right on the border of the Palestinian territories or Palestine, depending on which terms you like to use, and Aleppo, which is in modern day Syria. The first is Stonehenge, which is in England, and you can see the picture of here of Stonehenge. Notice the people in the picture to kind of give you a sense of how big these rocks are. These are huge rocks, and archaeologists are not sure what they're doing there, why they're there, how they got there, how they got them to stand up like that. Stonehenge is one of the big mysteries in ancient history. So take a moment to pause this video and write what you think Stonehenge might have been used for. The next site is Jericho. Jericho was founded in about 8000 BCE. BCE means before common era, and it's another way of writing BC. This is the terminology that we'll use this year because it is the terminology that modern historians use. It is the longest continuously inhabited city in the world. There has always been someone living there since 8000 BCE. Here's a picture of Jericho from a satellite. Here's an artist's picture of what the settlement would have looked like thousands of years ago. Here's another satellite picture of Jericho. You can see the Neolithic site is over here. There's a spring over here and then all around it is the modern town. Okay, then we have Chatelhuyuk in Turkey. It is located in the middle of what in ancient history we usually call Asia Minor, but is modern day Turkey today. It's circled on the map on your note sheet as well. It was occupied for about 1600 years, starting around 7000 BCE. And during the period when Chalahuic was occupied, it was very wet. Um, 
one of the interesting things about Chattahewick is that their fields were located about eight kilometers away from their homes. So that's a pretty far walk. Um, eight kilometers is about three miles from their homes, a little bit more than three, closer to four miles. So it was a long walk. Take a moment to write at least two advantages and two disadvantages of living so far away from your fields. These are the homes of people in Chattelhuk. They are very square. They have flat roofs. You can see they have these openings at the top. They have ladders to climb from level to level. Take a moment to think about why the inhabitants might have built their homes this way and write a response on your note sheet. Lastly, we have Aleppo. Aleppo is located in Syria. Here is the ancient site of Aleppo on top of this raised area in the middle of the modern city. It was first occupied in 5000 BCE. You can see where it is on the modern map. This map is also on your note sheet. Here's Damascus. When we hear about Syria, we often hear about the capital Damascus. So Aleppo is in northern Syria. Um, this is a good place to build because you're on top of a hill, right? So it's easy to defend. People can come up and you can attack them from above. And this is a pattern that we'll see throughout the year of people building their cities on hills. Please answer the final question on your note sheet. We will discuss it along with the other questions on this note sheet when we're in class together.